I'm telling you that this is a waste of time and we need to get back to this people's work. I am tired. The Republicans are going to lose the House and y'all run this back for them when they do. They're going to lose the House because they have lost focus of what our job is. And our job is to take care of the American people. And that's the last thing that they've done. That was Democrat Jasmine Crockett of Texas at a Democratic House news conference following Republican-driven Biden impeachment hearing. Crockett opened fire. She noted the GOP is not focused on keeping the government running or willing to consider bipartisan border security security legislation passed by the Senate. Instead, Republicans are obsessed with Hunter Biden, the president's son. Crockett noted the absurdity of such a focus and the hypocrisy of the GOP, given Donald Trump and his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, who actually worked in the Trump White House, as opposed to Hunter Biden, who never worked in the Biden White House. So the fact that we even showed up today and we showed up early and it wasn't to make sure that we could keep the lights and the government open, that's not why we showed up early. We showed up early because they wanted to take an opportunity to take punches at the president's son. And I am going to re-urge the American people to recognize we're talking about his son. We're talking about someone who is an actual citizen, just a regular, regular citizen. We're not talking about somebody who could not pass a background check, yet somehow ended up being appointed to his administration. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about a son that was struggling, a son that lost his mom, a son that lost his brother, a son that lost his sister, a son that has had a father that has been in politics since he was two years old. This has been his life. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he can't do. Hunter Biden testified away from the cameras as the Republicans had insisted, and he said he did not involve his father, Joe Biden, in his business deals. He blasted the Republican inquiry into his father and his family's business affairs as a house of cards built on lies. Biden accused Republicans of trafficking in innuendo, distortion, and sensationalism. The Hunter Biden deposition lasted seven hours. And by all accounts, the Republicans produced no evidence that would support the claim that there were any financial transactions involving Hunter and his father. However, the Republicans did ask questions related to Hunter Biden's addictions and personal behavior. A Republican House strategy of smearing the Bidens personally seemed to incense Crockett. All they want is a spectacle, and the spectacle right now is putting us in a sense of danger, not just in this country, but in this world. It is putting our allies in danger, because right now what they're doing is they're peddling Russian lies. Basically, the Republicans have become synonymous for Russians at this point. It is a disgrace, and I'm just imploring the people to become sick and tired of being sick and tired, because let me tell you, if there was something that they could tie this president to, I would be the first one to be upset because I am, a, I am an American first. I was elected by my district to represent them as U.S. citizens. I wasn't here to do the peddling of any president. But at this point in time, just like the BS that we see going on with the other impeachment, there is nothing more than BS. And we know that you can't have something that is built on a house of cards. That other impeachment she referred to was the one the GOP has launched at Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. The irony, of course, is that Republicans are hammering Mayorkas because of the migrant crisis, but refuse to actually pass legislation to tackle that border crisis. Anyway, Republicans acknowledge they killed border legislation at the behest of Donald Trump. And there is every indication that House Republicans are trying to pummel President Biden and his family also at the behest of Trump. House Republican leaders are in frequent contact with Trump, and this is an election year after all. So the GOP attacks and smears of the Bidens keep coming, even without any facts or evidence. Amidst it all, there are some polls out now that indicate most Americans see the Biden impeachment effort as a waste of time and a pure political stunt. So there is a good chance later this year in the elections that the impeachment effort will come back to haunt Republicans. In the meantime, Democrats are having a field day highlighting the GOP priorities and blasting the Republican agenda. And one of the Democratic lawmakers who clearly seems to be breaking through is Jasmine Crockett. By the way, Donald Trump is now lashing out after failing to post bond for his civil fraud fine. In Donald Trump's legal fights, just moments ago, the former president formally appealed the civil fraud ruling against him here in New York. This is the case in which judge orders Trump to pay $355 million. The jury found Trump committed fraud, and as the Wall Street Journal reports, the Trump fraud ruling threatens to handcuff family business operations and bans Trump from serving as an executive of the Trump Organization or any other New York company for three years. Check out that story at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.